I'm Simon from bottomguitar.co.uk. Now I've been asked by um, a few guitar students would I do some tutorials on some of the grade pieces uh, from the various examining bodies, um, which I think is quite a good idea. So I've, um, I've picked for the first one the Musette uh, B V V uh, one two six um, from the Associated Board uh, Grade Five. Um, now this is a, a tricky little piece and seems to cause quite a few problems with um, grade five players, mainly, surprisingly, with the right hand. Um, so it's in the key of D and it's in 2-4 time. So uh, let's go over and have a look at it. So starting at bar one, um, it's quite repetitive this piece. So we need to place the first finger on the third string, second fret, and we need the little finger on the uh, first string, fifth fret. So we're now playing the fourth string and first string together, which is giving us D and A. You now play the third string. So that's. Drop the little finger back. Now notice you're keeping that first finger down. And we're playing the fourth string and first string. And we're doing a pull off or a slur from the G at the third fret onto the F sharp on the second fret of the first string. So we're now playing. Keep the first finger down, take the second finger off and we're playing the third string and the first string open. And then we can play the um, second string third fret D. So we're playing that first part is now you can use your third finger or your second finger um, for that last note now that bar is repeated so we've got so that gives us bars one and two um, bars three into four, we're keeping that first finger down on that third string second fret. We're moving on to the fourth string, F sharp at the fourth fret. And we play that with the third finger and we can play that then hammer the finger on to the fifth fret, fourth string. After that, we then play the third string, which we're covering with the uh, first finger. So we play back to the fifth fret, back to the fourth fret, fourth string F sharp, and we're now dropping down to the E on the fourth string, second fret. If we bar that across, that means we can now actually play the next note, the third string, second fret A. So let's Drop the third finger onto the fourth string, fourth fret, F sharp. And then the last note of uh, bar four is an open string. So bars three and four give us. You can also play the A, the second note of bar four at the seventh fret on the fourth string. So we can play it as then F sharp with the first finger and then open. So that's just another way of playing it. Personally, I don't think there's any point in doing that. But if you get the score, um, that's how it's fingered in the score. But I think it's just as easy to just keep it all in the second position. So our first line is
bar five uh, and six are a repeat of the first two bars. Bar seven is a repeat of bar three. Bar eight is more or less the same as bar four. So we're playing the E, second fret, fourth string, A, second fret, third string. But this time we just end with a single open string of D. So the ending on bar seven and eight is. If you look at the score, um, you'll see that you've got dotted notes um, underneath um, the, uh, the, the bars three, four, and seven and eight, uh, indicating staccato notes. So it's actually, Those your short detached notes or staccato notes. Um, so now bar nine, oh, uh, the first eight bars are repeated. So into bar nine, we've still got that first finger anchored on that A on the third string, but this time the bass is the fifth string across to the third string. Now this is where the problems arise with the right hand, which I'll be covering in a, a minute. So we're starting with the second finger on the uh, second fret, second string C sharp. We're playing the fifth string and second string together. Then you hammer the finger down onto that uh, D for the third fret. You can either use your little finger or third finger, whatever's comfortable. Um, onto the second half of the first beat, we play the third string and first string together. That's the first string open. So we're playing. You repeat that. So bar nine is. Keep that first finger down. We're stretching the little finger up to the fifth fret on the first string, which gives us A. And we're playing the fifth string and the first string together. Take the little finger off and we're playing the third string and first string together. Back to the fifth string and first string. Don't put the finger back on. And then your third string. So bar 10 is. So bar 9 and 10 gives us. Keeping that first finger down, remember that's anchored there for the moment. We go back to the A and we're playing the fifth string and first string together. Take the little finger off again. Back on with that little finger and we're playing the fifth string and first string. Then that little finger's coming off again to give us the third string and the first string open. So, um, Bar 11 is. So taking it from bar 9, it gives us this. Into bar 12, we've still got that first finger anchored on that A, and we're doing a, a slur from the third fret, second string down to the second fret, second string, but we're playing the, the open fifth string with it. Take the second finger off to give it an open B, and we put the first finger, well, the first finger's already there, so we just play the A on the third string. So that is. Play the sixth string this time as an open string, along with that open, second string and this time we're now moving that first finger so our first fingers must move over onto that fourth string otherwise you'll have problems playing the next section so we're playing 
So from bar 9 um, through to bar 12, it's giving us this. Change. Bar 13, we place the little finger now on the second string. The first finger is now on that fourth string, second fret E. And the bass line is the sixth string across to the fourth string. So bar 13, we're playing the sixth string and second string. We're then dropping onto the D sharp with the third finger, fourth fret. And we're playing the fourth string and second string together. Back to the sixth string and then fourth string and second string, but this time with the second finger on. So we're playing. Bar 14 is, first of all, starting with the open sixth string on its own. Notice now you've got a bar on at that second fret. And this time we're playing the fourth string and second string with the bar on. So that's giving us A and C sharp. So we've got Put the little finger back on that fifth fret first string, playing the sixth string and first string together. And then we play the fourth string and first string with the third finger on D sharp, uh, on the G sharp on the first string fourth fret. So we now play and that is now repeated. On to bar 17, we're now actually finally moving up the fingerboard. So we're moving into the fourth position um, for this sequence of uh, semiquavers or 16th notes. So we need the second finger on the second string fifth fret, E, and we're playing the sixth string and second string together. We do a slur to the fourth fret, second string. The third finger will drop onto your third string, sixth fret. So we play, and then that second finger, or I should say the uh, the first finger, gives us the D sharp. So we play, and we play it twice. So that's fifth fret, fourth fret, sixth fret, third string to the fourth fret second string and then we repeat the process bar 18 we're playing the two outer notes we're playing the two E's we need the first finger now on the third string first fret giving the G sharp so we're playing the G sharp and the fourth string open so it's Notice the first finger just stays on and slides up a fret to the second fret, third string A. We put the third finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, C sharp. And then the final notes of bar 18, that second finger is already lined up to drop onto the D on the second string, third fret. So we're playing uh, fourth string open D and D on the second string, third fret octaves so that's we're now dropping back to the second fret and we're placing our bar across four strings so it's a two-thirds of the bar chord we're playing the fourth string and second string together which is E and C sharp hammer the finger down onto that second string to the D at the third fret and then E with the little finger at the fifth fret second string so we play 
On the second beat, we play the third string, which we're already covering with the bar. And then we have the little finger landing on the um, fifth string, fifth fret D. So we're playing. And then finally, we're already lined up on that fifth string. We play the C sharp with the third finger, fourth fret. Hammer the finger down onto the fifth fret D. We play the fourth string, which is covered with the first finger. And then finally, the old fifth string. So the final section is. I'll do that again. So this. Um, the second part of the musette is change fingers. Move to your fourth fret. So that is the left hand, which actually isn't, if you're a decent grade five player, you should be able to get through that easy enough. Um, but as I've been saying, it seems to be the right hand that caused the problems on this piece. So let's go and see what the right hand's doing. So to continue with the right hand, um, we're placing the left hand on the uh, notes of, from the uh, earlier part of the tutorial. So we've got the um, D and the A. Now, in these, this first bar, or the first two bars, the problem is the thumb has got to keep playing. alternate bass notes while simultaneously you're picking out the melody notes lots of players have problems with keeping that thumb going and it's used a lot in folk guitar playing and a lot of country music um, it uses it as well you know you're getting the uh, Affectionately known in the trade as having an educated thumb. Um, if you're interested in that style, check out people like Chet Atkins or Doc Watson. Um, really are fantastic at this style of playing. But back to um, this um, uh, musette. The problem is, as I say, keeping that thumb going. Now, and it always, se always seems to be that last note of the uh, first bar. So we're getting lots of players miss it out and just play. And yet it should be. So we're playing. And then that repeats. Bars three and four, it's straightforward. You just play, I play those with, all with the thumb. I play the third string with the index finger, so I'm playing. And then we're back to our alternate bass. It does take quite a lot of practice and patience to get that thumb working. Just keep at it and you'll manage it eventually. Um, so as we get into bar nine, 
the same principle applies. Um, so we've got the um, C sharp hammer on to the D and then the open E. But the bass line now is the fifth string and the thumb hovering over to the third string. So we're now pulling it together. first finger of the left hand over to the fourth string because in bars 13 uh, onwards uh, we're now playing the sixth string across to the fourth string so our bass line is, is that so we're having to move over the fifth string and that can be quite tricky so we're keeping that going while we're maintaining the melody on the upper strings. Um, bar 17, the sequence of semiquavers, um, I'm playing middle finger on the second string index fingers playing the third string and then I on the, the second string as it goes back I use the third finger so we're playing with the, along with the open sixth string so I'm playing middle index third and then repeating the sequence it's straightforward you're playing the sixth string and the outer notes with the, the uh, middle finger or the third finger then thumb index finger thumb index finger I play thumb middle finger then again bass note with your thumb and we've got our Pretty straightforward. As I said, the main problem is that alternate bass. So be careful that you, you keep it going. And the, one of the problems you have with this is you'll not know that one of the bass notes isn't there. Because once you get it up to speed, your fingers get it into all kinds of things. And you'll find that that thumb is probably missing a bass note here and there. As I said, it always seems to be the last one. It's what we get instead of. And that goes for the other ones as well. And then six string. work on that thumb it's not easy it would literally drive you mad trying to do it but it's well worth the effort and um, I, I learned that technique many many years ago probably around about 1963 when one of the very first finger picking things I ever learned to play was um, Girl of the North Country by Bob Dylan and it took me weeks to figure out that they were playing, he was playing alternate notes with the thumb. I mean, in, in those days, there were very few people could actually show you how these things were done. So you had to just work it out for yourself from uh, uh, the records. Um, anyhow, I hope this uh, video helps out in playing this uh, music. It's a fine little piece, well worth the effort. Um, 
the music is available um, from the associated board so you need the associated board grade five um, music book which is which is that if you can make it out uh, so I hope it helps you to play it and I will see you on my next video if you have any problems just get in touch with me via YouTube and thank you for watching bye for now